Oh, you know, heading down to the village, you know, I, you know the libraries they have? I, I like the books in there, so I think I'm going to pick one up. They always have really good books. I love reading them, and why? Where's the books go? Even, not even one book. What has happened? Uh, do you know? Because I have no idea. Do you, ha and I didn't even know these textures existed in Minecraft. What, is this like a new snapshot? Or, I don't know. Hi, welcome to another video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to pretty much, I guess, improve or whatever your bookshelf. So, as you can see, uh, not only can you do this, and you probably saw some in the background, but here are some good ed examples. So, it's a resource pack, by the way, um, and it, ch it makes command blocks and conditional command blocks look like certain kinds of bookshelves. So, let's say we got a chain command block. That's an empty bookshelf, and... We have a, a normal impulse, whatever, normal command block, which has some books. And then we have the repeating one, which is, it looks normal. And so I guess I don't know quite why you'd want that. But yeah. And then we have the gray ones. Now, if you don't know what these are, these would be used for in like this kind of, like if you had a stone library. And as you see, I've mixed the normal command block and the repeating one. And if you can tell what they are. But yeah, in, the, in order to get the gray, you'll have to make it conditional. But yeah, um, without the, uh, the uh, resource pack, this would just look like command block. So yeah, here's a good example. And if you don't want them to look in it, if you're on survival or adventure or spectator, you can't look in them. And, or nor can you break them. And so yeah, um, and yeah, if you want them gray, you'll have to just make them conditional. But yeah. Um, here's some, oh, looks really weird. Hmm, I don't, okay, I don't know, but, um, I don't know quite why it's doing this, but, whatever. Yeah, I guess it's a bit wrong. I guess it's, like, backwards or something. But, yeah, uh, it, yeah, it's really weird, but, yeah, it's just, um, yeah, how I guess it's a little bit off on the tops and stuff. But yeah, as you can see, yeah. Fine. So, um, yeah, in the, the, the inventory, they are sideways, which is kind of weird. But yeah, um, the only problem is, is that on the, um, the stone ones, when you make them conditional, the top doesn't change. So the only way to get through this is, I think, by like putting slabs. And there you go. And I guess if you want to make some weird, like, weird, like, horror map, maybe? I'm not sure. You can have one that is, like, empty. Like, you go into the library, and then there's no books or something. I don't know. But, yeah. It's a very simple resource pack. Um, you can do a lot with it. And, yeah. And if you can tell already, the um, gray ones, they use the um, texture of stone brick, and that's why it's made out of stone brick. So, yeah. Um, I kind of like these. They're pretty cool, and, of course, they all work with the conditional. It can all be gray. But, yeah. Uh, they're just retextured command blocks. So, yeah, you can make them go sideways. So, I can have a bit of a sideways bookshelf if you had, like, a sideways map, which I'm not sure why you would. But I guess I, you could make a sideways map, basically. I don't know, but yeah. I think that's it. I mean, it's it's very small research pack. It's not much. So I just yeah, just change command blocks and yeah. So yeah, I would recommend maybe turning the resource pack off if you're like, you know, if you might, if you like put this resource pack in the map or in like an adventure map or something. Or I'd recommend you turn the resource pack off while you're making it because, well, chances are you're going to be using command blocks whenever you make your map. Anything in your map will probably use command blocks. But yeah, and as you can see, I have mixed the things and I guess I could make one. Uh, what is it? They chain command block. I guess I could make one empty or something if I wanted to have one part of shelf empty. But yeah, 
I think that's it. I mean, there's not too much more to explain. I, I kind of like this research pack. Could be useful for, for some of you, like, who, I don't know, like decorating. And it, it, I think it's a bit more decorative because you can have more variety of books. Like, some, because, I mean, with normal Minecraft, it's just all normal. It's like, all they have, they have the exact same books. It, it's kind of plain. Can't do much with them. And one kind of thing. Um, I guess it's kind of like an extra thing for this video. I want Mojang to add that you can put books in bookshelves. Like maybe you right click them or something and then you'll get a GUI that will have books that you can store. Although you can only store written books or books or maybe book is in Quill or something. But yeah, so you can have all your books in there to store all your books. And so you can click a bookshelf and maybe, maybe if they're even fancy, if they're fancy enough, whenever you take one, that will actually be gone from the shelf part. It's like you use a bunch of textures depending on what books there are. But yeah, I think that's it. It's a pretty short one, but yeah. That's a pretty nice resource pack. It lets you put get the new bookshelf. So yeah, I think that is going to be it for this video. And if you couldn't tell already, it's a resource pack. I think I said that. But yeah, so it's a resource pack. There will be a link to it in the description of this video to um make the to uh get these but yeah i think that is gonna be it for this video hope you enjoy